Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna show you the top five handheld scan tools for your Skoda vehicle in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and explain what kind of features and functions each of these tool has. We'll put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment, just so it makes it a little bit easier for you to find the tools. But you do need to be careful because fakes and clones of these tools, they do exist online. So by using the links in the description below this video it will take you through to the genuine and official product now at the end of the video I'll show you which of these tools I would personally buy if it was my personal money with my personal Skoda given what I know about these tools having used them all for a number of years okay and at the end of the video, if you're still unsure about which tool to go for, I'll put an email address in the description below. Use that email, send us your vehicle information, and we can tell you which of these tools would be more suited for you, your vehicle, your budget, and your exact requirements, okay? At the end of the video as well, I'll also put in a bonus tool which shows you the really, really high-end package. Uh, it's kind of like a dealer level tool, so it is, a, it is quite expensive, I won't lie to you. Um, but if there is anybody out there who just wants the ultimate top line tool, and isn't really worried about budget, then I'll show you that tool at the end of the video, okay? So starting with the cheapest tool, the cheapest tool on the table is not actually a cheap tool, it's actually uh, full of uh, functions and features, and it really, really does cover a lot of Skoda vehicles. So let's say, for example, this is the version 1.0 tool, the VOZ version 1.0. The VOZ actually stands for VW Audi Workstation, but it does cover VW Audi Seat Skoda, even some Lamborghinis and Bentleys. But if you are interested in maybe diagnosing and resetting like the kind of the main systems in the vehicle, so things like the engine, if you've got a check engine light, an ABS light, an airbag light, transmission, or other systems within that vehicle, things like power steering, central locking, HVAC heating systems, then this tool will allow you to diagnose them, get the fault codes, get a description of the fault, and allow you to do the resets on those, those systems, okay, and turn off the warning lights. It does have one built-in um, service function, which is the ability to do the oil service resets. You'll hear me talk about service functions more and more as we go through the video, but this has one service function, and it is, the, as I say, the oil service reset, okay? So that's the version 1.0 tool. We then come to the version 2.0 tool. This is the VOZ version 2.0. It costs a little bit more than this tool. It does everything that this tool does, but it also has additional service functions, okay? So yes, it has the ability to do all of your code reading and all of your systems, but over and above that, we have service functions. This tool can do the oil service reset. This tool can do the oil service reset, DPF regeneration, electronic park and brake, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, new battery registration, injector coding, and brake, ABS brake bleeding. It's very important though for me to point out that it doesn't do these service functions on all vehicles, so what I would do is I would um, strongly advise you to use the email address in the description below, send us your VIN number, and we can check to make sure that those service functions are gonna be suitable for your vehicle. With this tool, you may find that sometimes we come back to you and say, unfortunately, that service function isn't suitable for that vehicle. Uh, don't take it to heart, and the reason being is that because this tool does have a few limitations, so it won't cover a huge range of vehicles for the special or the service functions, okay? Um, that's where the version 3.0 tool comes in. Again, this is a little bit more expensive than these tools, not by much, just a smidgen more. It does everything that these tools will do, but this one is really, really good for the service functions, okay? So whereby you might get a few, quite a few cases where this tool won't do the service functions on your vehicle, this one pretty much will, okay? I'd still recommend sending us an email with your VIN number to check that it will do the service functions on your vehicle, but I can probably say now that it, it generally, in most cases, this tool probably will. So this does over and above these tools, in fact. It's built on a better hardware platform, so it can take more advanced software, so it deals with newer vehicles, 
and because of that it has better service functions for a huge uh, much bigger range of vehicles so yes it can do all of the service functions of these but it can also do actuation test component testing it's bi-directional so it allows you to test certain components within the vehicle um, it does suspension calibration, transmission adaption, air conditioning resets, engine adaptions, and other adaptions and learning modes. Again though, send us the VIN number, double check that those functions and those features are gonna be suitable for your specific vehicle, okay? So that's the version, sorry, I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned the name of this tool. This is the VOS version 3.0 tool, okay? So we've got the one, the version one, the version two, and the version three, okay? Then we come on to this tool which is called the CR Pro Kit. The CR Pro Kit covers a huge range of manufacturers. It has the, so the code reading and the software ability and the system, sorry not the system coverage, the, uh, the service functionality of the version 2.0 tool but it covers a huge range of manufacturers. So, Although the service functions in the VOS version 2.0 might not be great for, say, uh, your VW vehicle, but in things like Mercedes and BMW and Toyotas and Land Rovers, they really, the, 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 the service functions in this tool is really, really good. It's the CR Pro and it's, as I say, it covers all makes and models for a wide range of systems and service functions. Okay, so this tool's been on the market for a number of years now. It's been selling fantastically, and it's it's no wonder why, because it really, really does pack a, a powerful punch. And it, it, the software on it is just really, really good for a price that is not over the top. I mean, you could buy two of these tools and it would still be cheaper to buy this tool here, which covers a huge range of manufacturers. So um, it's no wonder that this tool is a really attractive price and it's a really attractive product as well, okay? Um, and then we come to this tool here. This is the CR Max tool. Um, this tool is by, ha by far, hands down, the best tool on the table. It can do everything that all of these tools can do combined into one tool. It covers all makes and models. It covers, it has the service functionality of the version 3.0 tool. So it has fantastic service functionality, fantastic manufacturer coverage, vehicle and system coverage within that software, all in one, easy to use, fast, intuitive product. Look, this is the tool that you'd probably go for if you're an enthusiast and you've got a few cars on the go. Uh, maybe you're a small garage or workshop and you're not exactly sure what you're gonna be getting in from day to day, or you're just a family guy or family woman who wants to look after all of the cars in your specific family setup, your household and your extended family. You wanna maybe look after their cars as well and be able to help those guys out as well. I just can't stress enough how um, much value for money this tool is, the price you pay for it versus the amount of software that you get in. Yes, it is more expensive than all of these tools, but it's not bank-breakingly expensive. Um, you, generally, you'll find the more coverage, the more service functionality, and the, 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 the better the tool, you will pay more for it, okay? So that's that's the CR Max down to a T though. But um, free lifetime updates with all of these tools. Autel and Xtool products, they will charge you after the first year for updates. Depending on the tool, sometimes around 100 to 150 pounds per year for updates for these tools. These iCarsoft tools on the table here, all free updates for life and that's guaranteed. Now, I did say at the start of the video, I would give you my recommendation on which of these tools I would buy. If it was my personal money, my personal VW, given what I know about these tools, I feel like I'm probably in a good position to, to give you that kind of advice. Um, I'm not just gonna you know, sell a tool not really knowing what the tool is capable of. If I was just looking after my, um, I keep saying VW, my Skoda. If I was just looking after my Skoda and I wasn't really interested in looking after other vehicles and I just wanted kind of the best tool I could for that particular vehicle, it would 100% be the VOS version 3.0. Because of the, the software that's on here, the, the, the system coverage and the service functionality that you get from the version 3.0 tool, it matches you know, it, it, it blows these two completely out of the water. And I understand that you will pay a little bit more for it, but 
you get more for your money as well. And it'll see you good in future as well. I think that's the, the takeaway point for this kit. Yes, you might have a problem now, but also in future, the problems that you get down the line, this will also cover you. These two, maybe, maybe not, okay? Um, so there's this tool if you're just interested in looking after your Skoda. If you're looking after your Skoda and other vehicles and you've got maybe future vehicles you're thinking about or other makes and models in your friend, your family setup, then the CR Max is definitely where I'd put my money. Um, it all really depends on your specific budget, the cars you have to look after, and ultimately what what kind of uh, level tool that you're looking for. You know, if you've only got if you've got a Skoda, kind of oldish Skoda, and all you really want to do is reset the check engine light, then you know you you may not need to look past this tool here. This is still a good tool. It still does the job just as good as these tools when it comes to doing a diagnostic reset for a check engine light or an airbag or an ABS light. So it all depends on your specific budget and your specific requirements. But if it was me, my money, knowing what I know about the tools, this tool if it's just for Skoda, this tool if you've got more than a Skoda to look after, okay? So I hope that's helped. A few more things, we've got the iCars of the CR Ultra, which I wanted to show you. This is a super, super high-end tool that the garages and the workshops will have. Um, it's quite a lot of money, it's about 1,500 pounds, but I just wanted to put this in here just in case there are any of you guys out there who have an unlimited budget, money is no object, and you want the absolute top line tool, then the CR Ultra is probably the one to go for, okay? So I'll put the link to that in the description as well. I'll put links to all of these kits in the description below. If you're still not sure about which of these tools you should go for, use the email address in the description below this video. Give us your vehicle information. We can take a look at it for you. We can show you which specific tool will do which specific job on your specific vehicle for your specific budget, okay? Uh, it might sound like a lot, but it's really easy to us once we get the information from you. We know exactly what tool to recommend for you, and we'll always give you the cheapest possible option to get the job done on your vehicle, okay? So I hope this video has helped you guys. Um, please don't put anything in the comments because we don't check the comments. Do use the email address given. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope this helps.